There are a few different types of pins that you can use with your excavator or buckets, but what are they? How do I identify them? And how do you use them? Continue watching this video to find out. So how do I identify the difference between a dummy pin or a grease pin? Well, firstly, as you can see here, they look identical, but there are a few key features which you can differentiate. So on the grease pin, you have this little hole here and the grease nipple on the head. How or why would I use a grease pin? Well, the grease pin comes into play when you're direct mounting a bucket to the machine or when you're fitting a quick hitch to a machine. The reason you would use this is because you can lubricate the pin, obviously. This reduces the wear on your machine's pins and bushes. Where you wouldn't use a grease pin is when you're mounting a bucket to a quick hitch. The reason for this is the pin is hollowed out to help with the lubrication of the pin. So this actually reduces the strength. And so with a quick hitch, this could lead to bending of the pin or failure. And that is why we don't recommend using a grease pin due to the difference in strength. So the dummy pin, where you would use this is when you're using buckets that you're mounting to a quick hitch. Now, the reason you would use this is because it's not hollowed out like the grease pin. And so this adds to the strength. However, this pin is made from a metal grade, namely EN8, which is a softer grade material, which helps the pin wear and not your hitch. So the reason why you would like your pins to wear more than the hitch is because obviously the pins are replaceable and they're cheap and easy to come by. So there are various different head types for each individual pin. These are matched to the individual makes and models and machines. We have the rectangular pin on style plate, which is used for when you have a bucket and there's a pin, you slot that over the pin and then you put your linchpin through the hole. So we have the square type head. The bucket has a block on the side and you slot this in. And what this does is prevents it from rotating while in the bucket. Then we have the pin, which has no head. And this is used for when you just have the bosses and you slot the linchpin through the whole boss and that secures it and prevents it from rotating. Finally, we have the dog bone pin or the dumbbell pin. The ones we have here is the 45 mil and 50. And these are used to suit a 60 mil boss. So. An example of where these would be used is in our Rhinox 5 to 9 ton pallet forks. These are suited and can be adapted to use 45, 50 and 60 mil pins. A point to note would be these can only be used with a hydraulic quick hitch. So there you have it, the three main types of pin for your excavator buckets and attachments. If you'd like to see more helpful and insightful videos, be sure to check out our Rhinox YouTube channel and follow our social media links down below.